I've just built this saw horse and it collapses down to a nice compact size. In my last video I made this stool and um, because the diameter of the legs is slightly smaller than the opening of the tenon cutter I could put the leg straight in there and make a tenon very easy. Because the leg is wider than the opening of the tenon cutter we have to prepare the end of the leg first. The first thing to do is find the center and I really should make a center finder one of these days but this little square here does it pretty quick. Using something round that's the same size as the end of the tenon that you want, then we'll centre that on the leg and draw around it. The washer works quite well because you can see the guidelines inside and it makes it a little bit easier to centre it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to get it as close as you can. And then using your square, we'll take these nearest points of the circle to the outside edge there. We'll just draw across those. I just quickly made this guide, it only took a couple of minutes and it helps to mark out the tapers. It's very simple, it just lets me mark out a three degree angle. I'll just take these marks here up onto this base and mark those out. I didn't take the cuts all the way through, that's because I didn't want to lose this piece here because it has my marks on for this space. I'm just rounding off the corners with a draw knife. The draw knife is about my favourite tool to use, but if you don't have a draw knife, you can still do this with a normal knife. It doesn't need to be perfect, it's just so we can feed it into the tenon cutter. Every now and again, grab your knife and take this bit of shoulder off just to make the Cut a bit easier and a bit neater. I'm using a knife to clean up the shoulders. You can go as far as you want, but it's only a saw horse. That's the first tenon done, it's not perfect, there's a couple of flat spots where I went a bit aggressive with the bandsaw, but for a saw horse this will fit perfectly well enough. An update on my hand, I've taken the dressing off, it's just about mended, and that means I'll be back on washing up duty this week. To drill the leg holes I'm going to do something I've seen before but never tried and that's to use these two mirrors here to help me keep the drill bit in the correct position while drilling. In the past I would have a square set behind and looking along the sight line I'd use the edge of the drill bit against that square to keep it upright and as I'm drilling it I'd come round and with my bevel gauge set at the correct angle I'd use that as a guide this way and then keep checking check this way and then back that way but you have a tendency as you move around to move the drill bit just a little bit this way I can still see the square and the drill bit through the mirror the mirror does have to be set up square to this sight line here and the same with the one to the right so as I start drilling I can keep that upright 
and without moving my body I can make adjustments by looking in this mirror to set the angle that way and when you drill it make sure you're drilling in the right direction I'm drilling through the top so the legs need to splay out don't drill this way else your legs will go inwards and this drill bit's got a bit of bite so I really have to hold on to it In my last video where I made this stool, the legs splayed at 10 degrees in this direction and 10 degrees in this direction. But what we need to know is the angle between the two. And I haven't gone into detail in this video because I've done it all in the stool video. So I'll put a link above and watch that if you need to find out more. On this sawhorse, the legs are going to splay out 15 degrees in each direction. Now I'm going to put a taper into these holes with the reamer and that's to accept the tapered tenons on the end of the legs. I'm not going into detail again here because I covered that in that same stool video. I just took 15 degrees off the end of the leg and with a block plane I chamfered all the corners. This cut doesn't need to be accurate, we just need to come over around about a quarter of an inch so the end of the tenon sits below the surface of a sawhorse. <laughs> It's a bit rickety and I've checked with the level and this side here is a bit too high so I need to take it a little bit off this one leg. That's much better. It's as solid as a rock but there's still one small job left to do. To release the legs, it just needs a bit of a whack on the underneath. And that last little job is to install a couple of pieces of shock cord to hold the legs in place while it's been stored. I've got these clips there for holding a piece of artwork into a picture frame, but they'll be perfect for holding this uh, shock cord down. If you haven't got anything like these clips, it wouldn't be too difficult to find something. These screw eyes would do the job very well. It's nice and compact and it wouldn't be too difficult to find somewhere to store that. It only takes about 30 seconds to Put it back together again. I reckon that's going to be pretty useful and I like the fact that it stores away easily. Hopefully the video was useful to somebody. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.